tonight. From M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens taking on Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and M&T Bank Stadium. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. the kicker Jason Myers to get this one started and off we go from M&T Bank Stadium fielded just outside the goal line and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line a number eight Lamar Jackson trotting onto the field at quarterback ready to lead this Ravens offense and no one can run the football like Lamar Jackson from the quarterback position the most dynamic guy with the ball in his hands since probably Michael Vick got more accurate throwing the football each and every year at Louisville. But how about this one? A first round pick in 2017, the number 32 pick in the first round. The last guy to do that at Louisville, Teddy Bridgewater, the same exact pick when he came out. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. This is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone first carry now for Gus Edwards and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage no gain there on the play and that's going to leave him with a fourth down Strong start by this defense. Third and short, they go with a run. Stonewalled for no gain. I played for a guy who always talked about setting tones and meeting force with force. That felt like it on that play, didn't it? And they met it in a big way and won. What a great job by the defense. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. David Moore back deep and waiting for him. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. Seattle's first go on offense, forthcoming, and under center, of course, Russell Wilson. Gave the commencement address at the University of Wisconsin a couple of years ago. One of the most popular players ever to pull on the uniform there. The beginning of his career, he was a so-called game manager. Take care of the football, rely on the defense. Now, in this stage of his career, the offense runs through him, and it runs very well. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 24. Yeah. 
And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 29, Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 11 yards there, first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The last run got six, now second and four. Operating from the gun. Wilson, and this a quick slant to lock it. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. To throw is Wilson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Now Wilson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. A loss of eight yards. It's third down. Third and long. score after one on EA Sports. the screen with Carson and he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds it's a nine yard gain and it'll keep the drive moving let's give a little credit there the offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense and it worked very well there for a first down line of scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10 From the shotgun, Wilson, and that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Patrick Queen came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Enough takes to start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Wilson 
to the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Forced out to his left. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 15-yard line. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. After the sack, you can understand it maybe be a little bit nervous back there, a little skittish, but he looked awfully decisive when he took off and ran. Very decisive and picked up that first down in the process. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. This is Carson. Man, this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Two yards the loss, second and 12. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they'll get him down right around the 16. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. And it's third down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half. And our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. field goal, a 29-yard attempt. And Myers able to knock it through. And the Seahawks grab a 3 0 lead. Score, Seahawks 3, Ravens nothing. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14 play drive to get three. It sounds like you're going negative on I was. Partner. I was. It sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal <laughs> getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14 play drive, you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Jason Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little I bit jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> From the gun, Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. Jackson. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. 
Throwing again on second down. Jackson. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Jackson on first down. On the move to his left. He'll run it. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down at six now from the 42. Single, 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 single. Jackson from the shotgun. Man open left side is Brown. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Could we get a touchdown to this first half after all? It's first and ten. From the gun, it's Jackson. And now he'll tuck it and run. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson sliding out of the pocket. He'll try and run it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Jamal Adams there on the tackle. That's a gain of six. Brings up third and one. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. It's a 39-yard attempt, right hash. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And that will knock things up here late in the first half. So they're able to make things level just before half and also leave very, very little time on the clock. And I love the way that you phrased that. Brought a little soccer into it, and that's really apropos considering they just kicked a field goal to tie things up. Field goal is all we've had so far. 3-3 three, three now as the kick is away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Not too much to show you scoring-wise in that first half. Just a couple of field goals make up all the scoring. But the teams are ready to go at half number two. So to bring it your way, 
Let's get right back out to Brandon God. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. And he won't quite make it to the 25. On the return, the Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 24. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Here's a handoff to Carson to begin the drive. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. play of the drive lost four now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. from the gun it's wilson he finds his man the tight end olsen and he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there when you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. On third down, it's Carson, and he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll move the chains. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They run again with Carson. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. It's a big play there for Seattle. 65 yards on the ground. Well, this game's ripe for the taking, and that run, I think it means he wants to take it. Not only does he want to take it, he doesn't care what they're going to do on the defensive side of the ball. You can be prepared for him. He's coming at you anyway. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. They'll try to run with Carson, and this time he is in. Yes. Taking it in from a yard out, and the Seahawks have taken the lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. 
Jason Myers now for the extra point. And it is up. The kick is good. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 24. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. To throw on second and six. Jackson, pressure comes, he's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Jackson now. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Jaron Reed, his second sack of the night. Well, they went with a the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Here's Sam Cook now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Thirty-nine yards on the punt. Give him just one yard on the return. Take over first and ten. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> that he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> Throwing now, Wilson on first down. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And he'll be taken down Wilson's across down. the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. On 
First and ten, it's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Now they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You just got to pick up a holding call. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. From the gun, Wilson. A gain of six there on first. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So still 14 yards to go, second down. Operating from the gun. Wilson toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. David Moore, the intended target, and that takes us from second to third down. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. To throw again is Wilson. Steps away to his left. He may try and run for this. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. A gain of six yards on the play. Brings up fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you're just holding a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. Fights off the defender. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. He'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now. But that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, Jackson. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. It's now second and 10 at the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. to throw again. Jackson, he gets this underneath to Dobbins. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to it and forcing a third down. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. 
He can run for it, and he will. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. In fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. First down, Carson. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And he'll be taken down at the 34. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. to throw and that one goes incomplete on the drop intended for that's what he definitely normally catches fourth down and over the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs blanketed everyone took away all the passing angles thus the incompletion so on fourth down out trots the kicker in a big spot here this to make it a two-score game and this one is right down broadway and they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. now converted on the field goal try now he's on to kick it away fielded a couple yards into the end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 so Lamar Jackson in the offense down by 10 a minute 39 to go their offense has struggled all night and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out Jackson looking left side Andrews with it complete they'll be brought down on the 30 yard line after a gain of six a gain of six there on first and there's a completion to the tight end and look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot six four six five and up a lot of guys used to be basketball players somehow came back to football and that's really good for the game of football you get better athleticism Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. 
Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. And it's third and four. Third trying to get the ball to his tight end in the center of the field where he runs a lot of his routes and ostensibly is extremely comfortable. He was hoping he'd find a seam and a big gainer to go along with it, but that one was incomplete. Jackson to throw. He completes it to Bryant. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Over the middle, complete. That's Andrews. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Two choke plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. First down. First down. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. It's a touchdown or a field goal, whatever it is. They need to score quickly here on first down. Here's Jackson. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. That catch good for only a couple. On the pickup, it's second and eight at the Seahawks 21-yard line. Tonight, so the victory here for Seattle. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Baltimore, good night, everybody.